I love our trails, hike and bike trails, because I love to go hiking when I can. Cattail Marsh is wonderful. And we just got so many beautiful places here in Beaumont. Growing up in Beaumont was awesome. I mean, I, I grew up in South Park. Family's always been very important to me growing up. I had a great home life. My dad was a coach at South Park Middle School. Then we moved to the west side of town. I graduated from Forest Park, which is now Westbrook. And then I went on to Lamar University. And then later in life, I went and got a master's up at Southern Methodist University. Most recently, I've got to say, Getting elected mayor of Beaumont is certainly a huge accomplishment. Running for mayor and getting elected, I learned so much. And I knew there was a division within communities, within sides of town. But when you get into the communities, you start experiencing it more. And you start understanding why some of that exists. You start hearing the stories. But the way we're going to overcome those challenges, the way we're going to improve them, is through involvement by the community. So for really the last year and a half, I've been showing up across the community meeting with a lot of different churches and other organizations. My whole life has been about building trust. There's nothing that replaces showing up because it's all through relationships and it's through showing up. Well, actually, as a business partner at Homer Drive is where it all began. I met the principal and, and she had a lot of passion for our youth and she invited me to the school and getting engaged with the youth and having conversations. And then she got me to go out in the community with her. We actually took an ice cream truck out in the summertime. It showed me that there was a need for having more community involvement. Uh, you know, kids aren't any different than when I was a kid. Kids love attention. And some kids just aren't getting enough attention at home. So if you can go up and visit with them, you know, it, it really can help change their lives. Because I saw week to week progression in terms of how kids would respond and the reading that they would do and how they would be more concerned about their test scores. So that's what helped inspire me. And you can make a difference in this city. It's through your neighborhood associations. It's also through paying attention to what's happening here in the city, because we're gonna continue to invite you to be a part of it. And volunteering with the schools and the youth is gonna be a very important part of that, because for us to be better, we're all gonna individually have to be better and change our view of how we've been doing things in the past. We've got everything people need to have a great quality of life. I mean, we're on the interstate, we're an hour and a half from Houston. We've got a port right here. I mean, we've got beaches, we've got lakes, we've got a river, national forest, and we don't have the traffic that you have in the large metropolitan areas. We ought to really be an attractive place for businesses to look to relocate, and we're gonna continue to work to be that. My vision for the city of Beaumont is that we become a much more unified city and have more city events that you know, show the diversity of the city. And so how that happens is you've got to include everybody and you've got to invite them to the party, but you also have to have what they are familiar with in their culture. And blending these, uh, these cultural events together can be lots of fun and people get exposed to things they didn't know how much they would enjoy. The city of Beaumont has begun this process. A lot of things happening already and we just need to continue to build upon those. As time has changed, we as a city need to change and we need to work at being a more unified city. And the city and myself is gonna be right here alongside of you, encouraging you. And so we're gonna be seeing great things, but you need to be a part of it.